Whenever there's Tai Chi boxing coming up, Taoist monk Zhong can just about always be found with his students. With the latest international kung fu competition soon to begin, as chief coach he has to choose the best candidates to appear as the official Wudang Tai Chi boxers. Wudang Neijia Kung Fu involves not just movements of the body, but also internal cultivation. And it brings to those watching it an ethereal feeling, an experience of beauty. Since a time long ago, when Zhang Sanfeng founded the style of Kung Fu on Mount Wudang and created the 13 moves of Tai Chi boxing, the fate of the mountain has been closely tied to this unique style of Tai Chi Kung Fu. The start developed in the early Ming Dynasty when 400 Taoists came to Wudan from various places in China, all of them chosen by the court. These Kung Fu practitioners all held Zhang Sanfeng as their ancestral master, and with him at the core, the Wudan school of Kung Fu took shape. Today, centuries later, who among the many outstanding students will stand out enough to represent Wudan and display Tai Chi boxing to the world? It's a tough decision. But after thinking for a long time, Taoist Zhong picks four students. He's been tutoring them personally in order to observe them before making his final decision. Taoist Bank Zhong teaches in the school of their esteemed ancestral master, Zhang Sanfeng. He is a 14th generation leader here. In the upcoming international competition, will the 15th generation leader reveal himself? This matter concerns not only the honor of Wudang, but also the future of Tai Chi Kung Fu itself. Taoist Master Zhong brings the students to pray before the statue of Zhang Sanfeng. Standing at the stern of the boat, eyes focused on distant trees where the golden summit is partially obscured by clouds, Taoist monk Zhong recalls the time he first came to Mount Wudang. Back then, he was no different from his students today. His master not only taught him Kung Fu, but also how to read the Tao Te Ching, or the classic of the way of virtue. As a result, a passage from this great work was burned into his mind. The ultimate force is no force. It has no shape, like water. 山山若水水遇而安的一种态度 Xuanwu is the water god in charge of Mount Wudang Water is Tai Chi in motion We know from history that Zhang Sanfeng followed a brook to pay his respects to Xuanwu He taught his students by Tai Chi Lake In other words, he had an indissoluble bond with water Beginning with water, 
Zhang Sanfeng gained an understanding of the ultimate Tao, the Way, and his disciples, one generation after another, traced his footsteps to seek the ultimate truth of the universe for themselves. According to the history books, Zhang Sanfeng taught students here inside a simple hut. In the year 1412, however, Ming Emperor Changzu, who greatly admired Zhang Sanfeng, had a magnificent Taoist temple built in this place in the hope of one day meeting him here. He named the place Yu Zhen, meaning meeting with an immortal. The palace spaces south on flat ground, and in its heyday it had more than 200 rooms. Over the centuries, however, history has taken its toll, and today only its east and west gates, the main entrance and a courtyard-style building remain intact. <coughs> Having the essence of the sun and the moon with the energy of heaven and the earth, this is how people have described Tai Chi boxing. Over time, Tai Chi boxing came to be seen in the eyes of the people as something full of wonder, and its origins were mythologized. One such belief goes as follows. While wandering on Mount Wudang, Zhang Sanfeng, a Song Dynasty Taoist, had a dream in which he met the god Xuan Wu, who then taught him Tai Chi Kung Fu. When he was stopped by bandits, he instinctively used it and he discovered that with just a single move, he had beaten all of them. His fame then spread far and wide. Apart from this rather wild story, there's another version of how Zhang Sanfeng established a style told by Taoists themselves, and it's illustrated in a fresco in front of the statue of Zhang Sanfeng in Zixiao Palace. One day, while meditating in the mountains, Zhang Sanfeng saw a fight between a snake and a sparrow. And from the fight, he became enlightened about the relationship between motion and stillness, strength and softness. The appeal of Tai Chi Kung Fu is known, but so far there are no satisfactory explanations as to how exactly it came into being. Numerous Taoists have dug into ancient books or pondered this matter in meditation, or they have simply tried to glean answers from bits and pieces of information from history books, but it's been of no use. It's possible, of course, that the sage, anticipating this, gave the answer in an unconventional way. The answer may be found in the mountains, in water, or anywhere.我们说老子讲人法地地法天天法道道法自然那么道法自然实际上就是我们身边的天地间的各种现象自然界的各种现象都是修道者应该效法的所以说练太极拳在他起势的时候他要气沉丹田那么这就很像水在一个保持一个非
Tai Chi boxers describe this as swimming in the air. At the beginning, it feels like you're standing in water, keeping your head above the water. You change your movement slowly and smoothly. But after some time, you feel like you are hanging in water with your feet off the bottom, rather like swimming in a river. Later, experienced Tai Chi boxers feel as if they're walking on the surface of the water or stepping on very thin ice. Swimming or walking, one understands the secrets of energy. Chi 很具体的一种东西 We concentrate and pull our energy together to feel the movement of blood in our bodies. It is energy that links us all together, and this energy is a ribbon connecting the mind and body. Energy is vital to every living creature, and it's also a unique message. By practicing in the fog, Taoist Zhong hopes his students will be able to understand another form of water in order to gain knowledge about the Tao. In nature, nothing is freer than water. Even when it vaporizes into fog, becoming something between visible and invisible, it lets us feel it. When practicing Tai Chi boxing, one should relax fully. The body should be like a baby's, so that the muscles, bones and limbs can be felt just faintly like the fog. This explains the principle of Tai Chi boxing. It was ancient Chinese culture that gave birth to the magic of Tai Chi boxing. Every movement within it is a circle made with the waist as an axis. Whether stepping forward or back, it is done in an arc or a semicircle. The same is true with all movements of the body, feet and legs. The movements represent the cycle of life, which has no end. After a long time practicing, Tai Chi boxers can do all of this without thinking, at will, and at ease. Actually,在太极拳在修炼的过程当中,也追求一种圆,那种就是说,你的手在抱圆,像一个球状,身体也要体现出一种圆,脚步, 有时候跟我们前后左右的关系也要形成那种圆的一种状态那这就是说我们说水的那种漩涡状的水它来的那种力量也是道士们在练太极拳的时候需要体悟的地方always to a lower point. This property agrees with the principle behind Tai Chi's hand push to avoid the strong spot and hit the weak. Water flows to follow the contour of the ground, so does a Tai Chi practitioner when pushing with the hand. He adopts different tactics according to the force of the rival. <laughs> Tang 
对不对？他打了，我本身放松，他力力力量给他花了。第二个，就打到身上的那个气血刷刷开了，如果等到拳头让开的时候，那气血马上又畅通了。所以这就是真正的那个以柔克刚的这个内涵。To Kung Fu practitioners, or to be more precise, to Wu Dang boxers, the Tao all the way means to stop a fight. In its tactics, Wu Dang Kung Fu emphasizes striking only after the enemy strikes and conquering motion through stillness. The Tai Chi hand push involves adhering to, connecting with, following, and clinging to the target, and never missing the target. Even if the opponent manages a strike, that strike will be rendered useless, like water following wherever the enemy goes, even getting into the force he applies, moving as he moves. The practitioner must know the direction in which a force comes, and goes by combining and alternating vigor and softness, subtlety and substantiality. This forces the opponent to make mistakes, which you then take and strike at by exploiting the force of the opponent. To conquer the opponent, you turn his strike into a void, into nothing, and then you defend yourself. So, a tussle is to say, you keep balance, the other is not balanced, you lose, right? Then you also don't hurt the other one. So, the energy, the strength comes, right? The energy is lost. You have to use your strength. Many people are not aware of Tai Chi. They think it's just soft, soft. It's not that at all. Soft, soft is soft. It's not that at all. But when it's applied, it's soft. 所以它有阴跟阳，阳是很阳刚的东西，阴它就是有，它是有阴有阳，呃，有暗有明，有软有硬的。The great thinker of the Qing Dynasty, Wang Fuzhi, explained the Tao this way. The Tao is the universal principle of heaven, earth, and man. It's called Tai Chi. The ultimate objective in Tai Chi boxing is to achieve the unison of nature and man, to gain the vision of nature's beauty and the way it functions, to forget one's ego, to merge consciousness and motion, to get rid of all misguided attempts and thoughts, and to enter a psychological realm of purity by feeling the function of life. One can then enter that world. Beginning with water, both students and their teacher explore Tai Chi in a unique way. It's a search for the ultimate truth. This is a road with no end. Nobody knows where it stops, but in that distant future they want to experience their inner world. When blood, energy, and Tai Chi movements become one, the mind enters into an ultimate unison with the heaven and earth. Every movement is a quest for Tai Chi in the depths of the heart. The wise men of the ages tell us, the people of today, that the weakest is the strongest, while the strongest is the weakest. The way to be uncontestable is to prevent a contest. Tai Chi's basic core. 内涵，它讲的什么？讲的就是一个阴阳的平衡，一个开合，一个平衡
，所以说懂得练太极都知道，练太极练什么？要练站桩。站桩站什么呢？就是说体会人和自然的一种和谐，一种统一。那么再通过一种我们全势、全的套路、全架的这种锻炼呢，达到一种呢，就是内外上下升降开合一种平衡。这样呢。对我们内在的身心是一种调节，身体也是一种调节。现在有很多研究，就有一些学者呢，把它归归结为一种叫做绵缓运动，中国传统的一种绵缓运动。那么这种传统的绵缓运动，实际上对我们身体的保健作用非常非常好。Yin and Yang, you and me, you in me, and I in you. Tai Chi boxing represents a beauty of softness, tenacity, and subtlety. It contains endless vitality and energy. It is a tangible image of Chinese culture. Since ancient times to the present day, its practitioners have been seen in all continents. In fact, according to statistics, across the world today, 500 million people are practicing it. Perhaps it will become a new kind of language of expression. 我在国外出访的时候也参也也看过他们很多的这方面的呃研究报告。那么我们长期练太极拳的人，他的心血管发病率是非常低的。第二个，他的呼吸系统的肺活量是比一般人要高，所以他心肺功能是好的。第三个呢，他协调能协调功能也很强。那么第四个，通过长期的运动，他人体的整个免疫功能会提高。免疫功能提高，他自身人的自身感觉，他的状态就会很好。Today, the South to North Water Project is bringing even more water to the area surrounding Yujin Palace. It's an interesting coincidence that Zhang Sanfeng initiated this water-like practice of Tai Chi boxing here in this place. Before long, this will be a key for the spread of Taoist culture and the center of Tai Chi. 武当山经过千年沉淀所积累的养生文化，是人类的宝贵财富。这与当下人们对自我生命关爱的强烈需求是相吻合的。它必将随着一江清水传播到更远的地方，润泽更多人的心灵。But before long, the international kung fu competition will begin, and the students of Taoist Mang Zhong are feeling very hopeful. But to those who will attend, winning the match is no longer important, as they have had the ultimate principle of Tai Chi revealed to them, like drops of water falling into their minds. Outside the window, the towers of the Xiao Palace can be seen meditating. Their minds, together with their hearts, are traveling through the universe. As Taoism says, "My heart is bound by nothing." Profound in meaning. 
legend of history has today become immortal and will remain.